the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 354 James 1-5 to Actions of those with faith Pointing out that there was no practice of true love for neighbors in the church, James strongly taught that faith without practice was a dead faith. First point. The book of James written by Jesus' brother is similar to Proverbs in the Old Testament. The light of James is Jesus' brother James. James was born after Jesus by Mary and Joseph. James had actually not accepted Jesus as the Son of God prior to when Jesus came to him after resurrection. After seeing the resurrected Jesus, however, James and Jesus' other brothers became Christian leaders. James later became a highly respected leader in the Jerusalem church. James also became an apostle, persevered through persecution, and even chaired the first Jerusalem council. It is assumed that James wrote his book around AD 60 prior to the Great Fire of Rome. James's letter was included in the nine epistles amidst the harsh persecution against the Christians from the Jews and then from the Roman Empire. On the same lines, James's letter was written during great difficulty in the early church. The book of James is similar to Proverbs in the Old Testament. James especially stressed that faith without action was a dead faith. James's letter was targeted at Christians who were living scattered due to the harsh persecution from the Roman Empire. Concerning this, James told them to accept hardship with joy. James wrote that they were to keep their faith strong all the more and to be patient. James wished his fellow Christians hope for the eternal life and taught them to seek wisdom through faith as wisdom came only from God. James added that wealth and honor disappeared but the only thing that lasted was eternal life. Second point, James advised to follow in the act of Jesus and to practice faith. James advised the people to listen to God and to act accordingly. James furthermore added to be quick to obey God and to be slow to anger or in speech, and also to receive God's words with meekness. James thought that the best way to live was by implementing God's words and looking after the orphans and widows and loving their brothers. James especially rebuked those who discriminated between the rich and poor. James stressed that not loving their neighbors as Christians was a sin and that if they did not serve the poor, they would be judged by God. This was partly a warning against the people who did not practice faith and abused justification by faith. Third point, James stressed the importance of having caution in our words through many examples. James stressed the importance of implementing faith into action and also advised them not to volunteer too easily to become teachers. James stressed the importance of taming the tongue through many examples. James firstly wrote that when we put bit into the mouths of horses to make them obey us, we can turn the whole animal. Secondly, although sheep are large and are driven by strong winds, they are steered by a very small rudder, 
wherever the pilot wants to go. Thirdly, although the tongue is a small part of the body, it makes great boasts. Fourthly, although all sorts of animals and creatures can be tamed, no human tongue can be tamed. As such, James taught the church members to use their tongue wisely for singing praise to God. And James continued to teach to seek wisdom from God in heaven and then compared wisdom to lies. Fourth point, James taught that boasting and not carrying out good deeds was a sin and that it was important to recognize this. James taught the church members not to lie among them. James clarified that the reason people vote was due to earthly greed. Thus, those who wished to befriend the world had to become God's enemy. James then taught how to avoid arguments. The first was to obey God and shut out the demons. Second was to be close to God and purify their hands and hearts. Third was to repent from their sins and to lament. Fourth was to be humble. Babes was not to slander. James stressed that misfortune started from the tongue because words contain the heart. The tongue expresses what is in the heart, and this becomes the start of an argument. An arrogant heart and evil deeds are embedded in us by nature. We try to conceal this through pointless boasting and visual appearances. James taught to be ashamed of our sins and try hard to lament because of our sins. James added that pointless boasting was a sin, which needed to be realized. Fifth point. James stressed the importance of deeds alongside faith. The reason James stressed that faith without deeds was false faith was because there were many Christians who said they believed but did nothing to help their neighbors. James declared judgment on those who stored a great deal for themselves and did nothing for the poor. The rich who did this would be judged for their fortune that they gathered from evil. God would hear how they mistreated their workers and punish them. God would judge their lavish lifestyle. James then wrote about the faith to those who were poor and enduring persecution. James was not trying to discriminate or distinguish people according to whether they were rich or poor, but according to whether or not they obeyed. James taught to the church members to persevere as Jesus' second coming was near and that there would be blessing to those who keep their faith. James also taught them not to swear on earth. Lastly, James advised those who were being persecuted to pray. James told them that if they honestly prayed to God, God would listen. And James referenced Elijah's prayer as an example. James also told the church members to help those who were being led by false teachings and to lead them to the right path. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones, the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Dot Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings 
of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.